got the seats out and all the brackets. And I just gotta clean up a little bit. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle trying to figure out how all this goes together. But I do like that they've cut them all and so you know kind of how it all fits. Included in the kit is some high strength spray adhesive to hold it down and some foil tape. It's always good to have. pre-cuts these and gives them to you. So I just kind of laid them out just to get an idea for where they're gonna go before I actually stick them down. Do not run your hand along this stuff. It will cut you. So I got my bolts cut out and I got my roll bars loosely cut out. One of the things that I was doing with these was just making a cross over them and then pushing down, pushing the carpet down around the bolt. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna glue this part of the tunnel cover down just because, I mean, you can see like it's not as snug as I would like it to be before I, keep moving through the rest of the Bronco. I really want to get the carpet laying smoother than it is now. Let it dry for five to 10 minutes. spot right here my heater box is actually like right up against the uh, insulation and so I can't really get the carpet in under there so I'm gonna just kind of cut this insulation out right here and give the carpet room to slide under the heater box if you're doing this I recommend investing in a good pair of scissors because these are just not cutting it. Ah, get it. Ah.
Notice my wheel wells are still bare. Um, the kit comes with insulation and carpet for the wheel wells and then it actually comes with an additional piece of carpet that I think goes uh, kind of in front of the back seat as almost like a floor mat back there. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, check the link in the description below if you want to get one of these carpet kits. It is great quality and uh, really, really easy to install. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.